Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel One on One. So more and more 3D tools that required a paid license are now becoming free for all forever. And today we're going to look at Plant Factory, which is a competitor to Speed Tree. If you don't know what Speed Tree is or Plant Factory is, these are 3D tools that are centered around tree and vegetation generation. They can help you create procedural assets, especially trees, grass, vegetations, and different sorts of plants that are animated with parameters like wind, growth, and others. Plant Factory is the second most popular tree generation software behind speed tree and the amazing thing about this is that there are tons of tutorials about plant factory if you don't know what you're doing but we're going to also take a look at how you can use it yourself so here is plant factory you can get it in the link in the description and when you open it up this is what you get if you're lazy like me and you don't want to go through the process of making a tree from scratch you can always go under file open and you open up a catalog of different trees these by the way are available for you to use in any software for example if i want to use this banana plant i can just select that and it will load up this remember is procedure so you can click on any part of the tree and different parameters will open up so for example i want to increase the length of this i would have to select the main part and just increase that you can also go up here you'll see different tools that you can access you have the render button which will render how the tree looks you have the select tool to select any part of uh, the tree so here are the leaves i can come in here and just uh, play with their length most of these parameters are going to be unique for each plant you import in you can go to the leaf section and just increase the number of leaves and if you want to use this in blender you just go under file export as mesh select the different parameters you want to use or export as usd export now i can open blender go to my desktop drag this banana usd and uh, can just hit import usd and i have my tree with all the materials if you see these dark areas and you're using eevee just make sure that you select the object go to the materials uh, for example uh, this banana branch i can go under the the settings make sure that I, I change the blending mode to alpha clip or alpha blend and also make sure that your materials are using the alpha channel so for example i know that this banana big leaf uses alpha so i'll just plug the alpha channel directly into the alpha uh, that way i can render the alpha and i have a banana plant ready to use like I said, there's a lot of parameters you can play with. I can go back to the branch, go to the influences, add some local influences, uh, say, turn on local influences, and uh, this will just give me some new parameters I can work with. I can add a uh, twist bias, and I just, that will just allow me to twist this plant on the y-axis or z-axis. I can add some curl, and uh, that should, uh, let's see, increase the curl strength choose the direction let's say negative y and just bring the curl strength one and that will just bend let's bring it down up a bit yeah so yeah something like uh, that so yeah this is a geometry based system, so procedure system. So each node you see here has its parameters and uh, you can always play with those. Like I said, you can create your trees from scratch. Uh, if you don't know how to create them, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description to a playlist that teaches you how to use Plant Factory if you want to learn it. But you can always load in a new project by just clicking this icon here and uh, take a look at what we have. Uh, there, are always, there are also more plants if you click on this icon here, you can see there is uh, there are succulents. And again, you can just bring these into Blender and use them as you want. There are palms, uh, mushrooms, uh, pots, grass. So let's, let's take a look at this grass. You can see if I try to load it, it's giving me an error. It show, it's saying that this asset is part of an extra package made available freely to all customers. You can download several packs. At the url below so let's go there and uh, just get that package so this plant factory is also made by bentley the makers of vu uh, which is another free program that used to be paid and 
so you can also get that so now if you go to this page you see that the, you also have extra content you can download that and add it to your archive that way all of these are available for for you to use uh, this also has another amazing feature that i really like you can draw the tree directly and now you can add more branches on the tree just like that if you want and uh, if you want to create a new project from scratch you can just click on the new and uh, this will give you a blank canvas you have all the tools available for you here i can start with this advanced tool uh, that just gives me a trunk just like that you have all your settings here so for example i can play with the length i have the radius it's uh, inherited so from the original root here so i can just click on this and uh, change from inherited to user defined and just play with the radius i can also make it smaller at the top by just clicking on this parameter here it will give me a curve editor that i can drag down to get something like that I just uh, click ok if you want to add some noise to this you can go to the influences and just increase the axis perturbation and increase the strength and that will give you some noise uh, or displacement you can play with the frequency and uh, you can see this is a really high dense mesh but uh, if you want to reduce the resolution while you're working because it can become really heavy you can just click on these stars now you can see we're previewing a more lower resolution asset than uh, if we are looking at the four the five star version so you can add uh, things like biases say if we turn on local biases uh, local biases we can add something like a uh, curl uh, this will just make the plant curl so i can increase the strength uh, let me just make sure that i have the correct axis uh, bring this curl it a bit and i can go to the segment uh, materials load a new material the library comes with its own materials so i can go to the bank and uh, just the back Let's select something like this and that will be applied to the tree. Uh, if you want to add branches, you can just select the active node and add another branch like this and that will add branches like that. So uh, you can again do the same thing in the radius. I want to use clamp to radius and uh, that way I can, it's not larger than the parent and uh, you can also make it taper at the top. So just like that. Uh, so say okay and uh, i can also add some displacement by going to the influence and bringing the strength up just a bit just like that go to the segments segment and reduce the strength the length yeah to something like that yeah there's tons and tons of settings you can use i have this uh, you can add leaves to these and i uh, just need to change the material for this so i go to the material section and just load a new material i'll go to the leaves and let's select something like this and uh, you can see now i have uh, some leaves if i want to add more leaves just select the parent branch to the leaves the last panel usually has the settings for that so you can increase the number of leaves just there and uh, if i want to increase the number of branches i just select the parent to the branch and uh, go to the last panel and that usually again has the same setting the settings you want so i can increase the count there as well so this is how you work with this tool uh, it's quite easy and self-explanatory uh, but uh, yeah so again if you don't want to, to go to start from scratch you always have the library so you can just jump in there and uh, just load up a, a template and work from there so i can just draw this bush Look at that uh, if you don't want to draw anymore the parameters are up here and uh, you can move these assets by selecting the move tool so if i select any of these components uh, let me select the parent select the parent and i can just move this uh, you even have control over this plane to change the direction this is really really a powerful uh, tool you can make it shorter and even you have in video controls for any branches you have selected so if you want to check this out all links are going to be in the description thanks for watching and if you want to add some wind you can just click on this icon here and you'll see uh, the wind and you can always change the direction of the wind go to the wind settings and increase the influence
uh, there's quite a lot of parameters that you can play with to create the perfect plant. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.